What's up guys, it's your boy Pete, and welcome back to Planting with Pete. Now if you're new here, this channel consists of almost everything houseplant related. That tickles your fancy, hit that subscribe button, sit back, and enjoy the video. Alright guys, on today's video, I am going over my plant haul that I got from the Black Planters uh, meetup that we had. Now today is actually June the 3rd, if we're not mistaken, the, the meet was last Saturday, today is a Saturday, June 3rd, Saturday. Yeah, it was a week ago, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it was towards the end of the month, so it was a week ago. Um, these plants have been sitting literally in here doing, I don't say nothing, because they have been growing. And I did also, outside of, like on my own time, my me time, I went ahead and decided to go ahead, went ahead, decided to go ahead. Hmm. I went ahead and planted or potted some of these up. Some of these didn't need a pot, um, as you definitely probably can see in the camera there. But a lot of these did. Let me think, did I lose? No, that's another video, but I lost some. And some are being lost it right now, lose it right now. Some of them are going down here right now. Um, that's a whole other video. But um, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Now, when I did go, you guys, I was waiting for someone took 30 80 million years for her to get there I'm just saying and I said I was gonna mention it so but anyway no big deal kind of sort of it, it wasn't a big deal until I got inside all right we'll get to that so she finally gets there blase blase you know people going in and out I speak to some people um, who park beside me and stuff and all this other stuff so I went inside I should have took pictures didn't take pictures again was tad bit upset that I had to wait for like 80 million years so anyway got inside now nice venue you guys the only thing the only negative thing I would say about the meetup is that the vendors did not support the traffic if you get what I'm saying so if this vendor had this many of plants then she's out and then vice versa and then there's a whole lot of whole lot of going on you know so anyway long story short I got in there six years later there was like this lady just stacking up on Ethereum just I'm upset mind you again the vendors did not support the foot traffic so if he wasn't there kind of like any other thing that they put out if you're not there to get it then you're SOL right but anyway I still ended up with some nice plants aside from the point you know I wanted me some Ethereum I knew they were gonna be there this lady just wiped just sheesh I really enjoyed myself so yeah let's go ahead and get into these here plants but yeah guys yeah um the first one I guess we can go ahead and do this one since it was already thumbnail um is my there we go, Monstera Obliqua. She is freaking awesome. Now I did get this one simply because I said I wanted one, and I said why not? It's here. Why not? I don't have to import it, you know. Um, did I get any pictures of any of these before? I don't think I did, to be honest. But if I do, I would definitely put it up there this time, even though you know I don't like doing that. But if I do have them, I will. I'm pretty sure I don't. But anyway. Um, she's definitely growing. All of these have just got put into like their forever semi ever home or long semi term home or however you want to put it. Um, like this here coach. I also found this one up there as well. I was looking at it before I turned the camera on and I was like well there's no way it has roots but for one she's in dirty spag. <laughs> it's going to happen. But um, there are, I don't know if you're going to catch it, there are roots, but what really caught me, I thought it was mold, but it was that one there. I was like, she's already freaking rooted, even though she had a nice root system already. But anyway, um, this is the newest leaf in my possession, so it was with these here. I'm like freaking loving it, you guys. I do have to keep an eye on her because she's one of those plants with holes. Any plants with holes in my collection get spider mites or thrips but usually it's thrips and if it gets spider mites then that means I have not been watering it so yeah let's just go with thrips but anyway I'm loving her as for now she sits actually right here like why am I looking at the screen don't do that she sits right here 
yeah so I'm loving it I'm not sure about the growing situation a lot of people said that they shoot out runners for some odd reason but anyway um, after taking her out and saw she had another long a semi long can you see that yeah no thing there it had nice I think it was like two or three nodes that had nice root systems I just cut it from each other and just <clears throat> bear with the roots down in it but all in all no issues my sterile oblique let's move to the next one um oh now the next one i don't know the name of it but you probably can okay let's get this together let's move this back over here all right guys this next hair plant is a syndapsis now this is the syndapsis black glossy like she's gorgeous she is freaking gorgeous like Again, aside from the dust, the dust on her, she's freaking awesome. And you can see exactly why they call it glossy. Awesome. And then there's like a little bit of, there we go, silver in it. Kind of like a, oh, that's better. Like a real dark exotica, you know, or a glossy dark synapses. <laughs> what is that one called? Sheesh. Jade. There we go. Synapses, Jade, Sad, and I had to think about it. But I know all the names of my plants. That was just on the spot. But anyway, you guys, she's freaking gorgeous. I got her, and of course, she is growing. Well, she's not planted yet. I haven't touched her. I didn't know if I want to put her in this or actually make her climb. Hello. <laughs> make her climb, so... I haven't done anything to her but there is like tons of roots down inside of her I'm gonna just enjoy like I need to know exactly how long does it take to propagate these things I don't know I don't know um, it did start to shoot off when I got it it was maybe like a little runner like that but she's doing something now I don't know what she's doing and there's also roots Can you see? there we go there's also roots up and down there it is up and down that there stem so I definitely need to figure out what I want to do with her if I wanted to climb or just bury it some more lay it down let those roots attach to the soil or you know my substrate dirt bag and allow the plant to grow and get a lot bigger yeah oh and I actually fertilized these two you guys with my water so we're going to see how that turns out and go from there. But yeah, Syndapsis Black Glossy. Okay. Alright guys, the last, the next four, I guess the last four, um, they will be, I will do inserts. So however we're going to do it. Um, I already did, like I said, pop these up. So they're in their semi forever situation until another thing things are growing in here okay <laughs> and it's scaring me because as I work I'm playing Tetris with these in my head but you know the computer as you get further along in the game and the levels goes up it starts to get harder so these here Tetris boards are growing and now I have to figure out if I want to extend or move them around to keep it The next four <laughs> plants that we're going to talk about, I already have them set up. Um, one of these are a duplicate. You sure I already know what it is? It's a synapsis, yes. I know. I had to do it. And this is like the only one that I cannot find in abundance. I was kind of lucky when I found that Silver Splash synapsis, which you probably can see what I did with it behind me, but that's a whole nother update video. But she's there and fine. She's fine, okay. But I was shocked when I found her. So I definitely can find exoticas. They're not like I can go right now and find some exoticas. But I do know that I can find an exotica way better, way quicker and faster than I can find any of these. Except for the Argerius, which sometimes gets a little skeptical as well. But anyway, back on these four. 
Um, it is the synapses. I'm pointing. I'm going to do a thing in my bar. This is the synapses civilating. Yes, the synapses synapses civilating. I love this here plant, you guys. I cannot, like I was saying, cannot find a big pot of these. Not even a six inch pot. Not even a half of an inch pot. Not even negative of an inch pot. Nowhere near. So when I found her table, I just she had a whole. I should have really. I should have really really took some footage she had a lot of freaking synapses in there we're talking variegated jades moons it was just a lot going on so but anyway i got this plant it was maybe two left maybe one left because i think someone else was grabbing one at the same time but anyway when i did get this plant you guys she had one leaf and as you can see she has two and working on another so <clears throat> I'm loving it. Um, her sister is, as you can see, also as well, is doing perfectly fine, just growing. But I didn't want to chop it, and I wanted another one. And if I see another one, I'm going to get another one. It happens, especially if I find one the size of that there um, synapse splash was on at that point. Yeah. All right, next plant. I had to get it. I wanted to get it. You know what it is? You should know what it is. Guess what it is? It's the synapse. Yes, a synapse. I love my synapses. This is the synapses tricolor, you guys. Again, a plant that was way, not way out of my reach of getting, but again, you know, I ain't gonna spend three, five million dollars on a cut or no, it's not happening. But anyway, um, again, she had a whole bunch of synapses. I had to try to pick out which ones I wanted. She had some ones with uh, more leaves, and then she had some one noters. You know, I went to the middle, got me a two noter. <laughs> And as you can see, she has just pushed out another leaf. And then also I have her on, again, one of my famous moss planks inside of Dirty Spagma Mix, going vertical. Just like almost everything else in here, she's on the same, not the same, well, they are the same planks, but this one is a lot taller because, again, I'm not going to cut her no time soon. And I want it to grow. So, hey, next plant. The next plant, you guys, that I got um this one is that you probably can see or have seen above me a little bit this is a begonia don't ask me what type of begonia it is it's a pretty begonia you know that type of begonia now i do want to figure out how i can get her into frame now i can show you even like that you know she's still type kind of blurred out by the light but she's okay but anyway you guys when i did get her she wasn't as lush but those new leaves were coming out and I was just, you know, just waiting to get ahead because I know not to touch the freaking soil, not to do anything, but keep watering her the same way. She's probably been getting watered, which is heavily, which I can tell about the soil, which is okay because she has grown accustomed to it. So why not you know but anyway um i don't know what kind of rex begonia this is but this is another rex begonia i said if i'm gonna get a rex begonia it's gonna be a rex begonia i really want it there's a couple of more that i really really want to get i seen the escargot you know the escargot begonia but it was a little too small and, and finicky i was not i can't give me something that's a little bit more stable even if it dies back i still have a nice chunk to work with which i have done before conditions weren't as semi-perfect as they are now but anyway i love that they're playing she's growing she's on she's growing in her own little container situation and as you can see i did bring the rack back in which is again another update video i can't say much but she's up there sitting and chilling with the obliqua and the synapses lenny kai ro yeah that's, that's how i remember that one that's how i remember that one all right guys did we how many did we cover one two three there's one more oh there we go the hoya those are not the hoya the fishtail hoya and now i talked myself into getting this one simply because i want the the silver what is it the silver hoya the the, the silver one you guys is i'm blanking right now but i'll put I, may, I put something up there, maybe some words, you know, I don't pictures. Uh, yeah, it's not happening, but I ended up getting this one, again, simply because I wanted to, is it Frost? Nope, nope, you're trying to think and talk at the same time, Pete, don't do it and say it out loud, it's not happening. Anyway, 
Um, I got this plant just again because I wanted to get the silver one. I do love how they grow. Every ones that I've seen, if you give them great light and feed them like they're supposed to, kind of like um, Hakuna Maplana, prime example, his shoot clean out. Like we're talking straight out from the pot, just, just, just horizontal as possible and they're like freaking awesome that is why she's in a location that she's in now now i'm pretty sure she's gonna drop a little bit just to get a little bit more leveled with the light and then shoot straight across that will be freaking lovely but then towards the time we having to move her then we'll have to adjust that when we get down that road but all in all you guys i enjoyed my freaking stuff i got me some wings some collard greens some macaroni um macaroni and cheese oh some green beans and a sweet tea with no ice just just seal the day seal that freaking day and i did do a little bit more of the walking around different plant shops in the area a lot of the i would say more more common to me but probably not common to a lot of other people which is probably why it's in their shop so or their shop so um yeah didn't really find anything else but i did really enjoy my trip and then but traffic was already memorial crazy so you know we didn't have too many stops but i got through i got through traffic just fine and enjoyed myself and got home and looked at my plants for a little while and, and just just took it in you know i sit out here and I just take it all in and yeah we go from there but yeah guys that is it let's just look around and make sure but i'm pretty sure that was it yeah one I'm, I'm i'm promise you i feel like i'm forgetting something i'm getting that feeling but that is it here for today's video you guys Please do me a favor, hit that like button if you enjoyed. Let me know down in the comment section. Out of the plants that you've seen, which ones do you have? Um, and which ones that you're looking for? Yeah, I think that is it. Let's look over. Yep, okay, I'm, that's synapses. That's what's throwing me off. And then, yeah, that's it. Yeah, I feel like I'm missing something, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, and a lot of these, sadly, like a lot of the other plants that you just, the video just came out today of my birthday haul, you guys. Today is June the 3rd. My birthday was May the 14th. <laughs> I've been freakishly busy. Just, yeah, it's my fault. Because this would have been came out. Yeah. And then there's like one more, there's like one more haul specifically that I'm going to um and Gwinnett you guys that is the tropicals that are going to be there um I think the 8th and the 9th of course I'm going on the 8th because you never know what they have and what they have triples and doubles you know kind of like the swap if you're not there to get it it's gone you know and then they probably tell you we have no more they probably do but you know how that goes but anyway um yeah that is that haul and that is like one more one more one more and i think that's it for the year because it'll be july right yeah in august i mean we'll see about it <laughs> and you oh then you also know that i am setting up the uh, my room just so that i can retire some of these out so i am doing a little setup i think so that also because it is starting to get blazing we're talking 600 degrees out here. Right now it is 86. So when I open the door, this thing said 92. And the humidity is 53. I do know it was 70 when I got when I opened this freaking door, and then it just just hit you like that. And I'm like, how do y'all like this? But whatever. But anyway, um, yeah. So I'm able to record a little bit more in the house, and then also have my backdrops as well with a lot of my plants that I'm retiring whatever that is but that is it here for guys for today's video um let me know other plants that you've seen today which ones you have which ones that you're looking for um a lot of things i do use on the channel be down in the description box below go and check those out they do come in discount code they can save a little coin and check out um if you don't follow me 
my handles are down below. Go and check them out. I'm using more Instagram than Facebook, but whatever I post on Instagram, go straight to Facebook. Um, go over and give me a follow, and I think that is it. If you like to support the channel, there's a thanks button and little things, things and stuff with stuff and things. But yeah, guys, I want to show you this poem. Like since that video came out, it is like I do watch them. It's crazy. I'm not crazy for watching my own videos. I mean, I like looking at plants. You know, I just can't help it. And then when I see my plants, it's like, dude, you look nothing like that. You're like 18 times bigger and better looking than what they're seeing now. It is like crazy. But anyway, this poem, boosh, all those plants, boosh, it is crazy. But anyway, guys, I'm just blabbering on. I'm having a nice day, even though it's hot. But yeah, see you on the next one.